Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about Dave Barry's turkeys in the kitchen. Now, before we go into summer analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, in this work, Dave Barry is talking about um, American cultural norms. Um, you know, in this essay, it pretty much starts off it's Thanksgiving and Dave Barry, he's kind of like watching football with his friend. Um, and his wife and um, the women are just basically in the kitchen. They're cooking. They're maintaining the house. Um, you know, they're kind of like watching the men and the kids and doing everything. And these women um, are, you know, are educated. One's a businesswoman. One's a lawyer. And so um, you see this 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 Thanksgiving celebration where the women are these. Um, successful individuals, their mothers, and they're also um, cooking and taking care of the house, um, something that women have been doing for thousands and thousands of years. Um, and the, the point of this essay, one of the, the things that this essay is kind of saying is that, you know, men are kind of useless in the kitchen. And the essay kind of proves that because we see Dave Barry and his friend, they can't do anything in the kitchen. They can't cook. They can't help out. They can't watch the kids. The only thing that they can do is kind of like sit on the couch and watch football. And so this house is like a, it's a, it's like a madhouse. And the only individuals who are orderly or who are adults are the women. Um, and this essay kind of like talks about um, equality, but it also talks about, um, you know, places different how we try to set people or put people in their place um, for thousands of years women around the world have been told that they have to be in the kitchen that they belong in the kitchen being um, you know caretakers um, taking care of the kids taking care of the family um, washing the clothes doing this that, that and the third uh, but this piece kind of like shows something different where the women are doing everything. They're keeping, you know, keeping charge and keeping control of everything in the house um, during the holidays. And so um, that's pretty much the entire essay. That's what's happening. The essay is kind of like a look at um, uh, American culture, but I think it also looks at um, cultures around the world because around the world, um, women are responsible for taking care of the kids, the family, um, and everything in between. But, you know, this essay kind of throws all of that in, on its head where women are doing everything. The women are doing absolutely everything. Um, and, and, you know, you might think to yourself that um, the men in this piece, they're kind of, they look like idiots. They look like they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what to do. Um, in terms of analysis, there's a deeper meaning to this essay. And what I, from my perspective, what I can see from it is that um, even though that the women are in the kitchen and they're doing all this and that and the third, you have to see that men or mankind, the way that's constructed since um, it's been around is that um, men at the beginning were hunters and the women were uh, more likely the gatherers. And so you kind of still have that in the modern era where uh, women are still expected to know how to cook um, and know how to clean and know how to take care of kids. While men, they're kind of just, you know, you have to be the breadwinner. But that, that's, you know, that's not even an American norm anymore because women are doing it all. They're the breadwinners. They're um, the, the, you know, taking care of the home. Uh, we're seeing more men in society um, staying at home and taking care of the kids and doing things that I guess you would say were uh, women's uh, work. Uh, but the thing is, like, what's really significant about this piece is that it really makes you question why, you know, why do societies around the world um, try to set genders to certain tasks, right? Uh, because in, in most cultures, you would expect women to cook. In most cultures, you would expect women to stay home. Uh, but in the modern era, you're seeing that flip where, you know, women can do anything. They can do everything. Um, and so this piece kind of like makes you think about um, equality. It makes you think about the world that we live in and to basically stop assigning different tasks to different genders. Um, now, this piece kind of make men look like they're idiots or make men look like um, they don't know what they're doing or that, you know, they're, they're useless. But the thing is, you have to think that men are responsible for putting women in the kitchen in the first place. Because if you go back to the hunter-gatherer societies of the world, uh, you know, 
men were dominant and and you know saying that you know they're going to be the hunters and the women are going to stay at the camp and kind of like be the gatherers um, and that's kind of like stayed the norm for several types of cultures for all types of cultures around the world where you see um where you see women taking care of the home taking care of the children um and so uh, for the most part women have kept that and a lot of women are still doing the cooking still doing the cleaning um but the the difference is that um they're also the breadwinners and that's something that's new that's something that's um you're seeing in the modern era and you're also seeing a lot of uh, men uh becoming um caretakers they're staying home they're doing the cooking they're doing the cleaning um so for me with this essay by dave barry um yes men can be useless in the kitchen but it's not always the case anymore because more men are staying at home taking care of their kids and being that caretaker and more women are um, becoming ceos becoming executives um and be becoming breadwinners and also they're still cooking in the kitchen. Um, so, you know, when you look at this, this work, it's funny when you read it, it's very, it's a very funny piece, the, how it's written, but at the same time, it shows you cultural norms that have been around for centuries. But at the same time, if you look at it, um, in terms of 2020, in terms of how first world countries are functioning nowadays, um, it's not specifically the case anymore because we're seeing, um, things that used to be labeled as gender specific are are being changed um and now they're just gender neutral and anybody can do them and that's i think for the most part that's how you reach um equality in terms of what uh women can do and and what men men can do and the thing is like it kind of like breaks that because it, people can just do whatever they want you know whatever you feel comfortable doing whatever you feel comfortable at excelling at you should be able to do it it shouldn't it shouldn't be um barred from you because of your gender and because of the jobs that women are doing and because of the fact that men are getting into cooking and getting into staying at home and taking care of their kids um we're seeing things that were gender specific gender specific uh, become gender neutral. So that's my perspective on this work. That's what I think it's saying about our society, our world. Um, it's a very interesting read. It's a very quick we, um, read. Um, and it really, from my perspective, it's it's really interesting to show us how the world has changed and it's changed very quickly. And I would say this specifically applies to first world countries. I think if you go towards third world countries and developing world countries, um, I think those, the old standards, the old norms, societal norms of women being um, caretakers and staying at home and cooking, I think for third world countries or developing world countries, that's still the case. But that's just my perspective on the matter. Um, and that's pretty much it. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and or comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video.